Hey guys, how you guys doing? So it's me, Ronke, and I was tagged to do this hair tag. I'm going to do this hair tag right now. And I was tagged by Desi. Um, I'm going to leave her link down below. Hello, girl. How you doing? So she did the tag. It was really cool tag. It's about hair and being on a hair journey and things. So I'm just going to go right ahead and answer the questions. And I'm going to leave the questions down below. But let's get started. I started my hair journey because I got tired of going to like hairdressers. Like my hairdresser started charging me ridiculous amounts. I was in school at the time. Like I didn't have money for hair like that. Like when I graduated, um, she decided to increase the price because I graduated and now she wants more money. I mean she was really good but she was just too pricey and I was like uh uh, I'm not having it. So that's how I got started on my hair journey. Okay so. <laughs> I started my hair journey probably like in 2009, you know, doing research, but for the last three years, I started it in 2009, but I wasn't like very active in it, but now for the last three years since 2011, I've been really active in doing a better job. So when I started, I wasn't really doing a good job. Like I was okay, but now I, I think I'm like really into taking better care of my hair. I would say now I'm on a real hair journey. Back then I was just learning. Now I'm in, on a real hair journey because I know what to do to make my hair grow. And my hair, I'm relaxed. I am relaxed, baby. My hair length now, I would say my hair length now is about maybe like, <laughs> this is so funny because two weeks ago, I got tired of look, looking at my straggly ends and I, just, I got frustrated with my hair. I got mad at my hair. Do you ever get mad at your hair? I got mad at my hair and I got the scissors. Like I washed my hair and I hated the ends. It just looked so dead to me and I cut off like four inches. I used to be like, you know, maybe bra. I, I'm not really, I don't really measure my hair so I don't know how long my hair is but I would say it was like reaching my bra straps and I think like right now. It's like armpit level because I just cut off like four inches. I don't really know how long my hair is. I just know it's growing. It looks healthy when I see it. And that's all that matters to me. I don't really measure my hair so I don't know how long my hair is at this moment. My hair length goal is maybe like mid back length. That would be a really good length for me. I used to think armpit level but I kind of am past that right now. So maybe my goal would be like mid back length. That's a really good. I don't want my hair too long like waist length. I just think when it gets too long like you really can't do much with it but I think mid back length would just be perfect for me so mid back length I will say maybe my hair goes should be here my hair texture without being relaxed like I said I'm relaxed and so with me being relaxed my hair texture is like a force 4c so my real natural hair texture is like a 4c I would definitely take health over length but with health will come length but I would definitely take health. Like I want healthy looking hair, even though it's like short to my neck. As long as it's healthy, the ends look good, and um, everything just looks good. I would take health over length, but with time, with being healthy, it's gonna grow. So that's good. If I can only live with one hair product, ah, I don't think that's possible. I can't answer that question. Um, probably some kind of oil, like castor oil or something like that. Um, but if I can only live with one hair product, that would be like a disaster because I don't know. <laughs> I can't answer that question. I can't live with one hair product. No, I can't. Maybe castor oil? <laughs> the worst hair product I have ever used was a Herbal Essence 2-in-1 um, shampoo. Oh my god, that product like dried out my hair, made it tangly, tangled city, tangled mess. I am never using that product. It was horrible to my hair and I think I made a video about it. My go-to hairstyle is like a bun. Just get my hair up, put in a bun and I am good to go. Bun, 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 bun for days. <laughs> yes, I'm a product junkie. If you guys don't know, I am a product junkie. Like if there was a rehab for me to go to, I probably need to be in like a product junkie rehab. Cause like I just love trying new products. I like finding out new things that can work. I like finding out that if A doesn't work, I can go to B. And if B is not available, I'm gonna go to C. And if C can get the job done and it's not here right now, I'm gonna go to D. 
So I just like having options, just like clothes. You like having options with clothes. And same goes to me in hair products. I like having options. I like knowing that if this doesn't work, I can always go to that. And if this is not available, I can go to that. So that's why I'm a product junkie and I need rehab, okay? <laughs> I trim my hands about maybe like every six months or now that I've learned how to trim my own hair, I would say uh, I wanna keep trimming my hair like every three three months or every six months between three to six months I'll trim my hair because I just like when my hair looks good the ends look healthy and stuff so between three three to six months I want to say every three months because that's kind of like what I've been doing lately but before that I was doing like every six months um, I use heat about I want to say I use heat like every three months once every three months um, with my relaxer I will, you know, blow dry my hair and then flat iron and that's when I use heat. And I do take supplements. I take supplements for hair and then I also take supplements just for like health reason. Before I started my hair journey, I was taking like a fish oil and a multivitamin just because, you know, fish oil is good for cardiovascular health and also multivitamins just in case I don't get all my vitamins in in a day. At least I get that multivitamin to kind of supplement um, the vitamins that I'm missing for that day and then when I started my hair journey I got into biotin and then um, I also got into B vitamins because the biotin um, you can break out from that from not having enough B vitamins so I started taking a B100 so at this current moment I take a multivitamin I take a fish oil and, and then I take the um, biotin and then I take the B100 and then I take a calcium just for health reasons those are the supplements that I take on a regular basis for hair and just like overall um, body condition. My favorite oil, I will say castor oil and maybe some olive oil, um, but I will say castor oil because it's thick and it's moisturizing to me. I put it a lot in my deep conditioners and just sit under my dryer and my hair is soft and moisturized. I just love castor oil. I just wish it was a little bit thinner and not so sticky. But regardless of that, I still love my castor oil. I love that stuff. Um, my hair crush, I have a lot of hair crushes. Like, I just have a lot. Like, I admire natural people. I admire relaxed people. I admire white people. I admire Indian hair. Like, I just admire, everybody's my freaking crush, you know? Everybody who's got healthy hair is my crush. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Chinese, Asian, you know, I, you know, as long as the hair is healthy, I'm gonna crush over you, okay? On my wash day, um, if I wanna have a really good TLC day with my hair, it can take me about maybe two hours, um, but if I just wanna bang, bang, bang and get the job done, um, it can take me like an hour. You know, I try not to spend too much hair, too much time on my hair, you know, cause washing this hair, it is, it can take a lot of work, but I will say, get, get the job done, probably like an hour tops. Do my pre pool wash it, condition, and bam, I'm done within an hour. But, you know, it can take longer if I wanted to do, like, a little bit more stuff to my hair. Okay, so the worst thing that ever happened to my hair was, like, when I was in high school, um, my mom gave me a relaxer at home. And let me tell you, that was, like, relaxer gone bad because <laughs> I don't know what happened, but half of my head was gone. That was, like, the worst hair experience that ever happened to me in my hair. My mom just, you know, relaxed my hair and my hair was like burning, but I really didn't know what was going on. And then when we went to go wash up my hair, like my hair just fell out. Like I had burns, like my half of the back, half of my hair was gone. Like I am not joking. Like I had to like go to the store and start buying a weave and gluing it down and using the top part of my hair to like cover up the weave like that's how bad it was it was a disaster after that happened i stopped getting relaxers for about maybe four years and then i went back and got um went to the salon and started relaxing my hair again no i do not dye my hair that's like too much work and too much maintenance so I do not even mess with hair dyes, you know. I'm trying to make my life easy. Um, I mean, I do love hair dyes when I see it on people, but to get it done to myself and maintain it just seems like a lot of work for me, so I, I really don't dye my hair. 
So that's it for this video. So if you guys have any more tags for me to do, any more requests regarding tags and stuff, just um, leave them in the comment sections and I'll go find the tag and do them for you. So feel free to do this tag. If you make videos and you're watching this video right now, go ahead and do it and let me know when you do it and then I'll go check it out. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! <laughs>